Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorials. I am SV and today we are continuing to create our first game 2D platformer inside in Unreal Engine 4. So uh, what we will do today? Today we are continuous work with our with our game interface. As you remember last time we are create life, life widget. So now I like to create some stamina and some points. How to do it and what we will do. So take again progress bar and put inside canvas panel. Progress bar, we are a name for fly energy, something like that. Uh, okay, very good. Anchor point again from this side. Size, uh, we will same, may, make the same size with my uh, this heart with life. 200 for 200. So 200, 200. And then a little bit move to this area. Uh, it's too much. Maybe it will be 250, something like that. So uh, similarly to life, if you are, don't check my previous tutorial, just go and check it. It's very useful. As for me, we are going to background image, select. Today I created a little bit faster. Uh, if you are lose my previous tutorial, just check it again. Image, very good. Fill will be red one. I mean first one, just a moment. Yeah, this is stamina. Also will be image. If you are don't check my previous tutorial, please do it because now no any time for explanation. Very nice. So I have a percentage, as you can see, is coming like this. Uh, it will be also from bottom to top node. It will be like this. Yeah, very good. This will be like kind of my stamina. So in beginning, it will be one. Then I'm going to create some, bi uh, some bind. And this bind will be for fly energy. So for this reason, I am going for life percentage. Everything which we are created before, I just take it, make it counter C. Then I am going here. I use a counter V, copy paste, connect here, connect here, and delete my life. Just take my uh, fly, uh, get fly energy. I also divided to 100. I hope you know why. And like this. So compile and play. One, two, three. We are create already loading screen. And I have my uh, heart and I have my stamina. So if I start to play, you see my stamina going out. If I'm going down, my stamina going up. You see, it's working and it looks like very nice looks like very nice so if i jump too much my stamina going i jump more 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 okay i lose my life uh, okay very good what next what next we are going to design and we are create some canvas panel we are create some text take this text and put inside canvas panel this text will be score so i like to receive some score I like to receive the score somewhere on the middle, exactly on the middle. For this reason, I will use, I'm going somewhere here and I make like this. Text will be on the center. Okay. So it will be 100, 100. And anchor point will be on the top, on the center. Minus 50, something like that. Okay. Size of my text will be... I don't know, give me give me to check my writing, which size I made before. Okay, the size will be 130. Yeah, something like that. Will be big one. Okay, minus 50. So I have this text. Uh, color will be maybe very dark very dark blue. Something like that. Okay. And also it will be not bold, it will be maybe light. Yeah. 
very good so and of course it will be not text it will be some numbers i don't know i check for example 88 i like size of these numbers looks like very nice but for these numbers i also create a bind create a bind and you see receiving and return so like before like i use here i just make a copy of that one going here and paste so cast to my pawn after that i take from here score you see get score yeah and this get score i put to return value you see is uh to text integer integer value coming to text uh i no need nothing from that one something like that okay save and play wait a little bit and it's coming so now i have life i have stamina fly energy and i have some numbers which which give me some calculation you see one two three very nice i already have some score so for this reason i no need these small numbers for calculation uh, we are going to my pawn as you remember in some of my other tutorials we are create here so for even tick uh, better try to never use this event tick because this event tick coming every frame and if you have some uh, some kind of operation or some i don't know some many different options for every frame you can stack your game you can make your game very slowly not optimize it and something like this so for this reason try to avoid using event tick try to avoid just take it and delete we don't need it anymore save uh, we are going for game level blueprint you remember yes just check my other tutorials where we take its ga game level blueprint and i just reduce a time i put i uh, know three seconds it doesn't matter we will keep we will keep three seconds play and check very good so i have everything no any number so it already looks like game also i like to disable this small square just to hide in my game i'm again going to my pawn camera collision and hide in game yeah check my previous tutorials i show it for what we needed and how we how how we are use it okay this we are select c and it will be game in their face with jet game interface widget something like this now we are know for what we for what we are created so um what we are doing now what we are doing now okay very nice uh, when coming begin of a play so what's the problem look at this uh, during loading screen i can make some maneuvering Look at this i start push a spice and when coming game my bull already running on the top uh, and i like to reduce it because my loading screen is just a, like a fake you understood yeah for this reason i'm going here and i will do like this disable input disable input Mm, just give me to sync yeah from here controller get player controller so no any input so if i play and start play something push something i cannot do nothing i cannot jump it's not working completely then i will do some delay okay this delay will be three seconds why three seconds because my loading screen working three seconds after three seconds i already can make just a moment i this take and put somewhere here so you see after three seconds okay just four seconds i show you example yeah i put enable no okay in put yeah enable input not enable enable input take this and put here something like that one okay uh, what is this it's mean 
when I just start play, 4 seconds I cannot do nothing. After 4 seconds, my input already enabled. So we are check and we are play. I push spice and it's not working. But after 1 second when I start play, I already can jump. Okay, very nice. Uh, very nice and looks like it's working for a moment. Uh, maybe what we can do... Maybe this I put somewhere here. This I put somewhere here. And for this I will make C and this will be in put off on something like that. So it will be easy for identification. Yeah. Uh, what we are doing next? What we are doing next? Uh, now again play and look at what is going on now. I don't start play but my land already moving and I don't like to receive it because I haven't time for prepare for think something about that. So I'm going for spawn. You remember these options. Yeah, I forget. So what is this? It is drum. So select it, C and put spawn drum. Something like that. Okay, spawn drum. Uh, this is destroyer. I put somewhere here. I don't touch it. And my spawn coming on begin of an uh, on begin play. So I delete it and I create a custom event. Custom event. This will be like a spawn all. We are calling spawn all, something like that. So I take it and put somewhere here. Spawn all. And going to sequencing. Uh, now if I start to play, I cannot see nothing. No land, no drums spawn it. And I need call this event. I need call this event. And I like to call this event from my power. So when I'm first time jump, when I push a jump, I like to call this event. Just a moment, I save. You see the small star, it's me not save it. I save it. Okay, no any star. So I'm going to my jump and every time when I push a action, my jump, I like to call this event. So I am going somewhere on the end and somewhere here, I call, um, I call, cast to spawn cast to spawn why spawn because this where is it? this spawn actor cast to spawn very good what next next i call from this cast spawn i call spawn all spawn all this uh, event very good something like that Compile and it's not working. I have to add some object. And how to uh, how to add some object? Before I add player controller or player pawn somewhere here, yeah, yeah. Again, player controller, controller somewhere in other blueprints. I add player pawn. But what I can add if I make cast to other actor? For this reason, I have to add new variable. I'm going to variables and new variable. So this will be spawn actor. Any name, you can give any name. It doesn't matter, you can give any name. After that, we are going for variable type. And here we are take, we are have to put exactly name of this actor. So spawn, you see. So spawn, you have like this uh, sphere, it means it is actor, and we are take like a reference, something like that. Compile and spawn actor, I haven't nothing. So I have to put inside something. For this reason, I am going to left side, going to spawn actor and push this small button. Open, like an eye. Open this eye. 
It means inside in my setting, if I'm going to main screen, and if I take my pawn, because we are creating my pawn, I have some default options, pawn actor. So if I'm going back, just a moment, I show you where is this. Yeah, if I'm going back and close this eye and compile, here, if I select my pawn, I haven't nothing, no any default. So I try to show you just one more time, just make it a little bit smaller and show you one more time. You see, my pawn selected, I have nothing. Open variable, compile, and I get additional options. So inside these additional options, in spawn actor, it is like a reference for any actors. I have to choose any actors from which I have here. I am going and select spawn because I have only one actor for a moment on my uh, main screen. Save, go in here, open, and to this object, I take this spawn, something like this. I give some reference, compile, and now everything good, but I have some not. So what kind of this not? Spawn actor is already a spawn. You don't need cast to spawn. So what does mean? I no need cast to spawn because we already create this variable. Now Unreal Engine understood that this my variable, it means so, uh, spawn. It means I can delete the spawn and put it exactly here. So not necessary to make a cast because cast already done by this small variable. Very nice. So it means we already can call this spawn. So we will try uh, going to play and check what is going on. You see now nothing coming, no any spawning. But if I push spice, coming some spawning. But as you can see, I have many lands. I have some kind of problem, many, many lands coming. And you see, it's jumping and it's not working properly. Why? Uh, now we will check why. I take a print string, print string, and we are making a spawn, something like this. So play and check. Now we will jump. And you see how many spawns. Every my jump coming some kind of spawn and it's not so good. So before the spawn, I have to add one more options. I put do once. It's mean this, uh, how is calling this event calling only one time without any reset, without nothing. Compile and check. You see, I play and only one time it spawned and not anymore. I can jump many times, but it's working only one time. And now my land uh, spawned properly without any problem. So hope you understood what is going on. Now we no need any is this print string. Uh, we are selected, we are called spawn reference, something like this, compile, and and looks like that's all. Looks like that's all. So uh, maybe now we have little bit time, we will add also some very interesting options. We will make some uh, camera, camera movement. Camera movement. Just a moment, give me to think. Okay, we are going to viewport and we see our camera not on the middle. I have some 175, yes, some problem. 180, 175, 120, minus 90, something like this. Okay, what we will do? We are going to event graph and when we are play, when we are first time push to the spice bar, I like to move some camera. I'm going here and create a move component two. Move component two. These options. 
So which component? It will be camera. Target relative location. It means where my camera will move. I am going and I check position now. So now position 180, uh, here position 175, and here position 120. So what else? Now I have rotation. Here it's minus 90. Uh, very nice. Also in these options I have easy out and easy in. And I have some overtime. So for a moment it's 0 0.2. I will keep like this just to show you what is going on. Uh, then I put it a little bit smaller. Just a moment. Where is my camera? Hold it. And now I put my camera somewhere on the center. Something like that will be zero. Will be zero. It will be beginning. But what I can see, I can see that my background is very, very small. So as I remember, it's somewhere here. Yeah somewhere here so my background will be longer uh, okay save and play look at this loading screen then my bull exactly on the center nothing happened no any spawn of object nothing going on but if i one time push my camera moving here and bull start running and this looks like very nice but very fast i am going here open event graph and you see over time. This over time I will increase, maybe I will put, I don't know, three seconds, maybe something like that. Play and check what I get. Now we will make some small setup. Uh, jump, and you see it looks like very, very, very long time and also I don't like. Uh, I will make a one seconds and we will see. Play, wait loading screen, and jump okay very nice camera moving and we are start play uh, don't look that in beginning we haven't any land trees we are created a little bit later so uh, again this C camera start move something like that doesn't matter okay so we are we are finished this tutorial i uh, hope you like it don't forget to put like any comments share with your friends thank you very much for watching and see you in next time goodbye friends